Yo, what's going on everybody? TK Gamer, welcome back to another NBA 2K17 rebuilding video. And in today's video, we're going to be rebuilding the San Antonio Spurs with the new addition, uh, Ko Kyrie Irving. So obviously, there's been many reports going around that um, Kyrie Irving wants to go to the San Antonio Spurs as well as three other teams. But we're going to say, what if Kyrie Irving decides to get traded to the San Antonio Spurs. So this is all depending on the Cleveland Cavaliers, if they're going to trade him or not, if they get the right offer. It's kind of interesting to see how he's going to get traded to the Spurs, if he even gets traded to the Spurs, because they don't really got the assets like some of the other teams, like the Knicks can trade Carmelo um, in some future picks. But this team is basically just a win-now team, and uh, they don't have many people to trade or uh Players that have really big trade value. Because you're looking at LaMarcus Aldridge. They're probably going to want to keep him. Kawhi Leonard. Uh, definitely keeping him. And then they could throw in Tony Parker. There's other team. Other players in here that they could throw in. But nothing too special. So we're going to see how well we can rebuild this team. So obviously Kyrie Irving will be our starting point guard. Danny Green. Kawhi Leonard. LaMarcus Aldridge. And Dwayne Dedman. So I forgot to update the lineup. So obviously Dwayne Dedman is in Atlanta. And Atlanta is in Atlanta Hawks. Um. And so he's obviously not on the team, so it shouldn't affect us that bad, but let's see first what we can get for Tony Parker. Okay, so right here we're going to be trying to find a trade for LaMarcus Aldridge and Tony Parker. So two guys that are obviously a part of the future, um, not a, actually the future, but about winning right now. So LaMarcus Aldridge, he's obviously on a pretty big contract, really doesn't average that many points. And then Tony Parker, not a big role with him, um, especially with the new addition, Kyrie Irving. So Cleveland Cowboys, Kevin Love and Trisha Thompson, that's a pretty interesting deal. Mike Conley, Paul Millsap, and Dwight Howard. Derrick Rose, Harrison Barnes, Wesley Matthews, Andre Drummond, Eric Bledsoe. So we're in about win now. So I kind of like this trade, Paul Millsap and Dwight Howard. We're more than likely going to trade um, Dwight Howard. But I think that's a pretty big trade right there. Because if we keep Dwight, he's going to be coming off the bench. He's making tons of money. And then the good thing about it is Paul Millsap is a free agent. So we're probably going to keep Dwight since he is going to be our starting center for probably one more year depends on how well he plays um but i like this team as it looks right now i think this team is definitely a championship contending team with uh Kyrie new addition so the starting line is going to be Kyrie irving danny green Kawhi leonard paul Millsap, and dwight howard with david lee Dwayne devin patty mills and manu ginobili as well as jonathan simmons all coming off the bench so this is gonna be an interesting season hopefully we can do some work in the western conference and i'll see you guys at the end of the season Okay, so coming to the end of the season, Russell Westbrook wins MVP, averaging 32 points, 12 rebounds, and 13 assists. That's crazy out of Russell Westbrook. Joel Embiid wins Rookie of the Year. Tyreek Evans wins Six Men. Hassan Whiteside wins Deep to Player of the Year. Nicole Yogis most improved. And Steve Kerr wins Coach of the Year. So taking a look at the standings, we did finish second with a 59-23 and 23 record. Nine games behind the Golden State Warriors. We're actually in first for basically half the season. And then Golden State decided to pick it up and uh, obviously won first season. So taking a look at players statistics um Kawhi Leonard is day-to-day -day. Kyrie Irving 22 points three rebounds and seven assists Paul Millsap 13 7 and 5 Dwight Howard 11 and 11 um David Lee 10 8 off the bench that's really good uh Danny Green 9 and 2 Patty Mills 9 Ginobili round seven so really good season for basically our whole team and uh, we're excited for the NBA playoffs where hopefully we can make it to the NBA finals as in our first matchup we're going up against a difficult Minnesota Timberwolves team they always give challenges especially in the first round if you face them and we beat them in seven games going on facing the Houston Rocks we beat them in six games and we are going to be facing the Golden State Warriors in the Western Conference Finals where this is where it's all about they take a one nothing lead two nothing lead obviously directly Durant, Thompson, so it didn't change anything, but still a really good team as we 2-1, uh, they go up 3-1, and we get eliminated in five games, so they go on to face the Cleveland Cavaliers, they win it in seven games, and Kevin Durant wins finals MVP, so we did make it to the Western Conference Finals, obviously uh, us in the Warriors, I didn't really feel like we were going to win an NBA championship our first year, but we did make the necessary moves to put us in contention to obviously win an NBA championship, bringing in Paul Millsap um, and Dwight Howard. But still, we got a little bit more work to do, especially to compete with that team. But let's see what we can do this offseason. So Kyle Anderson, I am going to bring him back. And um, we're going to probably go after Paul Millsap. I kind of like him as our starting power forward um he's gonna test patty mills we're gonna give him an offer jonathan simmons we're gonna just try to keep the whole team back and uh, hopefully run it up 
one more time and hopefully this time win an NBA championship. So let's go to Paul Millsap. Let's offer him his contract. And uh, I'm probably going to move to White Howard more than likely in um, next season. So we desperately need Paul Millsap. Let's take a look at the team first and foremost. I'm actually probably going to trade to White Howard right now. So let's see what we can get for Dwight obviously he's still on a two-year deal he's 31 years old he's not gonna be really helping out this team too much other than his rebounding numbers he can give you some points a game but he's on a huge contract and uh, we're probably gonna get him out right here so we'll I'll take a solid role player and maybe a first round pick Denzel Valentine Jay Crowder on one of the cheapest contracts DeAndre Jordan who's on an expiring deal that's an interesting move that is a really interesting move. I think I'm going to go with that um, trade with the Clippers. Ooh, okay. Steven Adams. Ooh, two first-round picks from Golden State. That's actually a terrible trade because they're probably going to be good. I'm going to take this DeAndre Jordan trade, and uh, he's going to be really good for us. But we do give up a big freeze of big um, – piece of our offense right there with Dwight Howard but hopefully we can get back Paul Millsap and uh, re go with this team so let's see what we get here Paul Millsap does come back so that's pretty big right there um let's hopefully we can get back everyone else and um Patty Mills Jonathan Simmons and Joel Anthony all come back and we are ready to go out next year we did bring in a new center and still make it trades because obviously this team is not a championship team quite yet we obviously got to make a couple more moves to put us in contention especially to be the Golden State Warriors because that team out west we're going to take a look at their team hopefully they actually kind of mixed up because obviously Curry and that contract usually KD usually goes somewhere else so we're going to take a look at that um hopefully he goes somewhere else because I don't see us beating the Warriors especially with other teams out west that are just going to be getting better um especially like the the Timberwolves, they're gonna get better. The Lakers. So let's take a look. They let's see where are the Golden State Warriors. Let's take a look and see. Okay, so they lost. Okay, so they lost KD, and KD's no longer on that team. So we're probably the favorites out of the Western Conference here. And uh, I'm probably gonna run with this lineup. So Kyrie Irving, Jonathan Simmons. Oh, we kind of do need a shooting guard. But I think we'll just run with it because Kyle Anderson can play a little bit of the two. Or even we've got DeJounte Murray. I want to give him minutes too. So I think we're just going to keep Jonathan Simmons. So Kyrie Irving, Jonathan Simmons, Kawhi, Millsap, and Jordan. Dwayne Debman, Patty Mills, Kyle Anderson, and DeJounte Murray. As well as David Lee all coming off the 29 points, 11 rebounds, and 10 assists. DeAndre E wins Rookie of the Year. Miles Bridges wins six man. Hassan Whiteside, Deep to Play of the Year. Jabari Parker, most improved. And Andre Miller wins Coach of the year of the Golden State Warriors. That's an interesting move firing um, Steve Kerr. But we did for the second two games behind the Golden State Warriors without um, Kevin Durant. So they had Joe Ingles, Draymond Green, Larry Sanders. Still a really good team, but I don't know if that's a 64 win team. Um, I definitely thought we would have been the number one seed, but obviously that team's still doing work. It's Kawhi Leonard, 22 points. Kyrie, day to day, 22, two rebounds, seven assists. And Millsap, 13 and seven. Patty Mills, 10 and five. DeAndre Jordan, eight and 10. And, uh, we did have Danny Green. I don't know why we didn't have him starting. He must have been injured at the start of the season because we started Jonathan Simmons, um, which had, he's out for the rest of the season. And seven points a game, two rebounds, and then um, Dwayne Demon seven and seven off the bench. We're a really good season for basically our whole team, but this is a big season for us as we're going up and sweeping the Denver Nuggets, going on to face the Oklahoma City Thunder, beat them in six. Then the Golden State Warriors were up um, two to one. We go up three one, three two. Please, please don't force a game seven. And yes, we move on to the NBA Finals. We'll be facing the Milwaukee Bucks. So let's take a look at the Milwaukee Bucks' team. Um, they probably shouldn't. They'll probably be pretty good with Jabari Parker and Ante Cooper. So Ante Cooper, Jabari Parker, Malcolm Brogdon, Thon Maker. They added McGee. They added um, Alex Burks, and nothing too special. So not a really all around good team besides um onto the Kupo and Jabari Parkers. We're gonna go up the Rio and we are going to win an NBA championship as Kawhi Leonard wins finals MVP. So that's an interesting scenario if uh Kyrie Irving does decide to go to the San Antonio Spurs. If the Cleveland Cowboys do trade him, find the right pieces to trade him to San Antonio. But that would just be a crazy team because that might be the missing piece that the San Antonio Spurs uh team might be missing because obviously Kawhi Leonard can do a lot um probably 
top three best players in the NBA. And then you're looking at Kyrie Irving, who's one of the best point guards. You got um, LaMarcus Aldridge. You still, it depends on who they trade, obviously. Um, not that many picks for them to trade, but still a really good team overall. And obviously going to be a team that's always going to be a contention of winning an NBA championship. So that was a pretty cool rebuild. If you guys do want to see more NBA 2K17 rebuilders, rebuildings, make sure to tell me in the comment section. So thank you guys for watching. It's been your boy T Gamer and Tommy, and I'll catch you guys next time.